Hello, and welcome to Miss Bailey's Daily Dose. Today we are going to be learning to make a jellyfish using a water bottle. So just like my previous video where we made a water bottle fish, we're going to be making a jellyfish out of the bottom half of the water bottle. So things that you'll need today, you need some string, you need some paint, I've got pink and white here, a paintbrush, some scissors, a plastic bag, and a water bottle that's been cleaned. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to cut the end off the water bottle. So you see where that black line is there? An adult might need you to do this bit. So I'm going to cut my bottle. little end bit here and that's going to be the head of my jellyfish. Now we're going to make our tentacles using a plastic bag. So if you hold the plastic bag you want to cut through the handles. So see the handles at the top? You cut those. In fact if you want to you can actually cut those completely off. That's what I'd like to do. So cut off the handles. And now what we're going to do is turn it upside down. You don't want to cut the top bit, so this bit needs to stay the same. But from this side, oh look, I cut my hand off. The side that's the open side, the side that opens up, you're going to cut about a two centimetre width up towards the top. Cut about that much. So you want to leave a little bit of space here attached, and then we're going to cut these. And keep going all the way along. So you're going to cut about two centimetres, strips up, and these are going to be your tentacles on your jellyfish. So keep cutting up. You can do this with any plastic bag. Obviously one that's not got writing on, um, or one that's not coloured would be best. Um, so it's more like the colour of the jellyfish. So my tentacles look like this, and then what we're going to do is attach the string around the top. So you can see all I've done is I've gone from the plastic bag, I've fumbled it together, and you see these are my tentacles at the bottom. We get a piece of string, and I'm just going to tie around it. So what we're going to do is I get my piece of string, I'm just going to make a knot. You want it to be quite tight, so I'm going to do a few double knots. And they're my tentacles. And you want to have string left because this string is going to go up, through the face of your jellyfish and pull all that together. Okay, so tentacles are done. So cutting, just like this, I need that to one side. Now we're going to paint the inside of the jellyfish. You don't need to use masking tape for this because it's nice and clear. Just make sure it's nice and dry and you can use whatever colour paint that you would like. So I'm going to use white and then I've got a bit of pink as well. So make sure that the inside of it is nice and dry. I'm going to grab my paintbrush, grab my white, I'm just going to paint on the inside of it. And this is going to be my face of my jellyfish. So I'm just painting lovely on. And you can use different colours. So I've gone for white first, and I might add a bit of this pinky colouring because I like the colour pink. And the um Skeletons usually have a whitey, pinky sort of colour for the jellyfish. So that's my white. Then I'm going to add a little bit of pink just inside of there so I can pink it up. Mine's going to be quite a vibrant jellyfish. And like I said, you could do whatever colour you desire. So I put my base white on. I'm going for quite a bright pinky colour. 
That looks nice. So just make sure that the whole of that is covered and then wait for that to dry. So really important, it's nice and dry before you do anything with it. So you can see at the minute, just painted mine. I'm gonna leave it to dry now. And then it should have this nice color. So it's gone from being see-through to this lovely pinky color. Now that I've done that, and now that my lovely jelly fit is dry, I'm gonna draw some eyes. You just need plain paper. And what I've done is I've drawn some eyes just using black. So what I've done, that hopefully you can see, is I've drawn two ovals and then like a the top of a semicircle to make the eye bits and I'll colour those in black. And then I need to cut them out. So if I colour those black, and again, you could do this with white and black paper, you could do this with paint or crayons. I've just got a black pen in hand. So I'm going to use this black gel pen. And we'll do this one as well. And then I can cut those out and use some glue or some sellotape, depending on how strong your glue is, to stick it. On. And I'm going to cut my eyes out. Be really careful. I always tell my children to follow the paper around. So you might need to move your scissors a tiny bit, but most of the time you just follow the paper around. Follow the paper around, and then the other one. So now I'm going to grab some masking tape, I'm going to fold it over, so if you fold one end on top of the other, it becomes sticky on both sides. I'm just going to grab my eye, I might need to cut this masking tape in half, because I can use both of it. One bit for the larger eye, which I've done. Go. Okay. I'm going to make this a bit of front row. Like that. And then the other half, my other eye. And that just means it's double sticky. You could use sellotape instead if you wanted to, or glue if it would work, but I thought it'd be easier for me to show you if I do it with masking tape, so you can see it's just like that. And then because I can see the masking tape here a tiny bit, I might paint over it. I'll grab my paintbrush, don't make it too watery if possible. What I can do is very carefully I can paint, not on the eye, but on the bits where you can see the masking tape. And on this side as well. Sellotape would probably be better, unfortunately I couldn't get into my room, so masking tape was all that I had. Um, but you can see like that, so you can see it blends in a little bit better. Now, we're gonna be using the plastic bag. We bunch the top it up, and that's going to fit in there. Now, on the video that I got this from, it said about putting a hole in the top. However, I've tried with a knife, I've tried with scissors, my Coca-Cola bottle will not budge, so I've come up with an ingenious way. In the back, if you grab some scissors, and just cut all the way up the back. So I've just made a cut from the back all the way up towards the top. You can see I've got a cut there. So when I put this in, this string that's tying this together is going to go up through that. So I'll show you now. So you put the plastic in just like that, then your string will go up the side 
like that to allow you to hang it. So I'll come in a bit closer so you can see. So here's the gap. Here's my string at the back. And I can pull that up and that will allow my jellyfish to hang. Just like that. Now to keep this plastic in, I'm going to use masking tape again. So I'm going to do the double over on the masking tape and that's to stick it to the top of your jellyfish. I'm going to actually put it in my jellyfish in the inside because um, that should help it and also in my bag. So this should hopefully help the top of this stick inside of my jellyfish. should do so I'll squidge it in and I'll stick it up to the top to make sure it's nice and sticky and make sure the ribbons are like the round and that goes up like that and there you have your hanging jellyfish so you use the tentacles the plastic bag unfortunately because mine's a Tesco bag you can see the writing but if you can try and get one where there's not as much writing on it and then you can hang that up along with your water bottle one. And again, you can do whatever colour you like, do whatever string you like, and even leave it outside so it looks nice and pretty.